I only have one dollar in my wallet. This is not enough money to buy me chicken nuggets. You really think I'm crazy? <clears throat> if you don't have enough money to buy chicken nuggets like I do, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you 50 tips on how to save your money. By the way, I would like to thank the Laginator for being the one to actually suggest this video idea to me via Discord. So let's get started with today's video. For tip number one is going to be buying items at a specific time, for example, Black Friday. You want to buy items when the price is going down or you have a discount in order to save lots of money. For tip number two is going to be freebies slash discount. You need to look out for those freebies or discounts for your birthday either online or in the mail. I'm sure you've gotten many discounts in your mail for certain places that you just thrown away, but in this kind of time that you do need to save money, be sure to hang on to those for later use. For tip number three is going to be meal prep. What a meal prep is, is essentially preparing your meal throughout the whole week. Not only is this convenient, but it is a little bit healthier than eating junk food at fast food restaurants. For tip number four is going to be don't spend your paychecks. Now I do know this seems like an obvious one, but many people when they do get their money, they just want to spend it all over, go to the mall, go shopping online, and buy a billion things and end up going in debt. So you want to make sure you are holding onto those paychecks and pay off necessary things that you need in your life and not things that you don't need. For tip number five is going to be don't act gullible. You want to be skeptical when you see good deals, like for example seeing a PS5 for $2. So remember, if it's something that you don't need, don't buy it. For tip number six is going to be buy things you need, not things you don't need. This is very obvious, right? You don't need to buy things that you don't need. For example, you don't need to buy all this aesthetic stuff or things that you're not going to use ever. You need to buy food, you need to pay rent, you need to do all of these things. So stop wasting your money on junk. For tip number seven is going to be try to repair your broken items instead of buying brand new things. For example, if your car goes to the mechanic and it costs a couple hundred bucks, it's a lot better than have to spend $20,000 on a brand new car. For tip number eight is going to be find ways to make more money. Now this can mean find a new job and leave your old job or work two jobs at the same time. Now I know working two jobs at the same time is going to be very hard to do, but sometimes you need to do what you need to do in order to make that money. For tip number 9, it's going to be celebrate with cheap things. Now I do know you probably have some amazing, awesome reason to go out celebrating, but that doesn't mean go to Red Lobster and spend hundreds of dollars. That's right, I see you Larry, you eating those lobsters like they're free, they're not free, Larry. So if you do need to celebrate, make sure it is in a cheap and nice fashion way. For tip number 10, it's going to be make a pros and cons list with your successes and your struggles. If you make a pros and cons list about your successes and your struggles, you can see what your struggles are and what way to fix them. For tip number 11, it's going to be use coupons or promo codes. So be on the lookout for coupons in your mail or check your email for possible promo codes in local places. For tip number 12, it's going to be don't shop hungry. You need to be unequivocal and clear on what you're going to get in the grocery store. If you're hungry, you know you're just going to be looking at a bunch of different munchy stuff and you know you're just going to be spending lots of money. So make sure you don't go into the grocery store on a hungry stomach because you end up going to buy a bunch of food. For tip number 13, it's going to be try to walk or bike to work. Now by doing this, you're obviously saving gas from your car and it is a little bit more of an eco-friendly way. So it's kind of like a win-win. For tip number 14, it's going to be get rid of your cable. I know this seems like a crazy and absurd request to do, but it really will save you money. And you can watch your local news just with an antenna. For tip number 15, it's going to be don't buy name brands. Buying name brands is a waste of money. They pretty much do the same thing, and you're just buying the name and logo. Take a look at these two different water bottles. One of them is Aquafina, and one of them is Great Value. Let's see if there's a difference in their taste. It tastes like water. It tastes like water too. Water is water, clothes are clothes. You don't need a name brand. For tip number 16 is don't buy in-game purchases. Now for the gamers out there, you don't need to buy the newest Fortnite skin or the battle pass or whatever's going on. It's just not needed and it's a huge waste of money. For tip number 17 is shop at the thrift stores. Now this is very similar to don't buy name brands, but you can go to your local thrift store and pretty much buy nice clothes. If it works, it works. 
For tip number 18, it's going to be be organized. If you lose stuff, you end up having to replace stuff, and replacements cost money. So you're going to be saving lots of money by being more organized. For tip number 19, it's going to be forgotten subscription. You want to be sure to cancel any subscriptions that you don't use anymore because they're just wasting lots of money. For tip number 20, it's going to be look out for water leaks. Water leaks can cost you lots of money every year, so you gotta be sure to fix them. For tip number 21 is going to be dine out less. By staying home and eating your own meal, you're not going to have to fill up on gas every time you drive to eat out. For tip number 22 is going to be read at the library. Now obviously this is more directly to the readers, but you don't have to buy a physical copy and leave it at your house. You simply go to the library and read them there, for free. For tip number 23 is going to be create a budget. You need to put some money in the bank every time you get a paycheck in order for that to build up. For tip number 24 is going to be work out at home and not the gym. Gym memberships do cost a lot of money and it's easier and cheaper to be working out at home. For tip number 25 is going to be find free entertainment. Instead of going to the movie theater and buying movie tickets, try to find local entertainment in your area that is free. For tip number 26 is going to be try to bargain or negotiate. Don't be afraid to bargain or negotiate with somebody because it's just part of business. And by doing this, you never know if you're going to be saving a few extra bucks if you weren't to say anything at all. For tip number 27 is going to be focus on your bills. Don't be focusing on where should I eat or where should I go, just focus on paying your bills off first. For tip number 28 is going to be don't get delivery. When you order food to be delivered to your place, it does cost a little bit more. So if you were to drive there and pick it up yourself, it does save a little bit more money. For tip 29, it's going to be stop buying alcohol and cigarettes. First off, it's bad for your health and it's not doing you any favors. If anything, it's going to cost you a lot more money in the ER. Second, it's a horrible addiction and it just ends up costing you lots of money by the end of the year. For tip number 30, it's going to be cancel your streaming services. You don't need to have a billion things like ESPN, Disney+, Plus, Netflix, and Hulu. Just try to keep it down to one or two streaming services in order to save more money. For tip number 31, if you can, try to grow your own vegetables. By growing your own vegetables, you don't have to be buying other vegetables from grocery stores. For tip number 32, it's going to be be patient. You don't need to pay extra for faster delivery, just wait the normal waiting time. For tip number 33, it's going to be sell stuff you don't need. Not only that you're decluttering and organizing, but you're also making some money in the process. For tip number 34, is buy new old phones. So you may be like, what do you mean buy new old phones? What I mean is, you can pretty much buy like an iPhone 7 Plus, and it pretty much does the same thing as the new iPhone 13. For tip number 35, now this is an obvious one, but turn off the lights when they're not needed to be on. Do you really need your lights on in the kitchen if you're in the living room? I don't think so. You can turn that off because it's costing you lots of money. For tip number 36 is make your own coffee at home. You don't need to be going to Starbucks and spending $100 there. You can just make your own coffee at home. It does the same thing. It's caffeine. For tip number 37 is going to be use old gift cards. You never know if you have any old gift cards laying around so be sure to use those while shopping. For tip number 38, now this is more directed to Christmas, but buy your gifts early before they end up costing a lot more. If you buy your gifts during the Christmas season, not only is it more rare to find it, but it's a lot more expensive than you thought. So by buying it early, not only are you saving some money, but you're guaranteed a gift. For tip number 39 is buy less stuff for your traditions. For example, you don't always need to buy a Christmas tree, so you can just save your money and maybe next time you can buy it. For tip number 40 is have a virtual party. By having a virtual party, you end up saving money not having to cook for your guests and you still get to chat with your friends. For tip number 41, it's going to be set goals. Have a goal by the end of the year like I want to have $1,000 in the bank for my paychecks. And by doing that small little goal, you end up feeling pretty accomplished. For tip number 42, it's wait it out to decide. Now you may see a good deal online but make sure do you really need this and just wait it out before you end up purchasing it. For tip number 43, it's going to be get a roommate. By getting a roommate, you are saving a lot more money on your rent. For tip number 44, is going to be moving to a cheaper place. Now it may suck to be moving out of your nicer place, but sometimes if you really do need to save money, just move to a cheaper place with less rent. For tip number 45, is going to be buying a used car. You don't need to buy the brand new car, it's fine if you end up using a used car. For tip number 46, is don't buy pop or snacks. By buying pop or snacks, it ends up costing a lot of money by the end of the year because you keep constantly buying them every single week. So by stopping, you might end up saving a lot more money than you expected. For tip number 47, it's going to be price compare before you buy something. I do this all the time by switching back between eBay and Amazon and seeing what I need and what is cheaper before I buy it. 
Tip number 48 is look for odd charges in your receipt. If you see an odd charge on your receipt, be sure to get your money back in order to save more money. For tip number 49, it's going to be freeze your leftovers. If you make a big batch of something, do not throw that stuff out. Make sure you freeze it and so you can use it for a later use. For tip number 50, it's going to be go to free tasting. Now this can apply to free wine tasting or cheese tasting, but whatever is free, why not do it? I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Well, if you're like me and doesn't have enough money to buy chicken nuggets, buy chicken nuggets. Well, if you don't have enough money for chicken nuggets, if you don't have enough money, if you don't have enough money to buy chicken if you don't have if you don't have enough money to buy chicken nuggets in today's video I'm gonna be showing you 50 tips yes that's right 50 tips the longest video that's the longest you in today's video I'm gonna be showing you 50 tips yeah 50 tips if you don't have a By the way, I would like to. By the way, I would like to thank. By the way, I would like to thank the Laganator. By the way, I would like to thank the Laganator for being the <laughs> weak instead of eating junk food or trash in the garbage. Okay, you guys, what you're eating is little garbage. It's garbage. Shout out to all the pear.